Now we are looking at the organization of the urinary bladder, prostate and rectum, how they are closely associated with each other in this model. You are looking at most posterior structure is the rectum, which is present in front of the sacrum. And then you can see this peritoneum, which has been covering. We will be covering about how the peritoneum covers the rectum in an, another video which will be released shortly. And then you can see in front of it, you are looking at the urinary bladder and this tubular structure which is opening inside, which is going downwards, that is the ureter. And then you can see this part of the urinary bladder, you can see it, it appears shiny and this is rough because this part is covered by the peritoneum. So urinary bladder is superiorly covered by the peritoneum, that is why it has been a very shiny structure. And there you are looking at the internal iliac vessels and the external iliac vessels. Now coming down, you can see here this structure is the seminal vesicle and at the bottom of this urinary bladder, you are looking at the prostate gland. So look at it, prostate gland is placed at the bottom of the urinary bladder and it looked like as if the urinary bladder is sitting on top of this prostate gland. For better understanding of this prostate gland, we have to remove, we have to go inside to see how things have been organized. So let us remove it. And now after removing that, you can see this is the urinary bladder, the urecus, pubic symphysis, the cavity of the urinary bladder, the detrusor muscles, its close association, just behind it is the rectum, see how close it is. And then if you look in the lumen of the urinary bladder, you can find here, this is what internal opening of the ureter and this is the ureter which has been shown coming down all the way. And down at the bottom, you can see very clearly this urethra, this is the beginning of the urethra and this urethra passes through, it passes through the prostate gland and this is the prostatic part of the urethra and look at it. From, from the back, from posterior, we have the opening of the ejaculatory duct which joins the urethra at this place. And now look at the rectum and see the close association of the prostate gland and the rectum. So during digital rectal examination, we can easily palpate this prostate gland and we all know the, the prostate gland, it has different zones of it. So we can by placing a finger in the rectum, we can palpate on the prostate and while we move the finger within the cavity, we can, we can appreciate if there is any abnormality, if there is anything unusual in the, on the surface, over the surface of this prostate gland. So it's a very easy diagnostic way by which you can depict at least that is there any nodularity, hardness or anything which is related to this prostate gland and that is that initiates further workup for looking for the prostatic cancer.